Hey guys, it's Wednesday, Feb uh, March 2nd, month of back, birthday's the 19th, woo woo, um, and I got my art snacks and my sketch box today, and I, so I can't even guess, they're both a little shaky, um, and I also have two premium boxes coming in this month, I have the art snacks lettering box, and I have the sketch box studio box, so we're gonna have lots of reviews this month, now you guys owe my Patreon backers a big thank you, so art snacks comes in a small fairly plain box with the art snacks, snacks stamp on it, sketch box is a little more decorative, um, this art is by Jane Burson, janie-jane.tumblr.com. Uh, yeah, her Instagram is Jane McJanie Face, and her DeviantArt is janiejane.deviantart.com. So if you love these lovely flowers, um, you should check out her art. It also has their logo on the side. So we're going to start with the sketch box. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we've got a Copic Wide. Now, those of you who um, are familiar with my stuff outside of the YouTube, because I haven't gotten to there yet, I love Copic Wides. I love using them to lay down washes, and I don't have this color. Not that Sketchbox could possibly know that, but, you know, that's cool. Um, I also got a sticker, and I got this postcard, and it's for the March box. The featured artist is Cody Roos. And he says, creating art that catches your eye the second you notice it and makes you wonder how many, how so many small details being brought together can make a whole piece of work is what I do. Whether it's portraits or animals, I love the idea of being, a, of being able to bring together so many aspects of drawing that seem simple and almost basic to produce images. The combination of patterns, geometric shapes, fine lines and texture is inspired by my desire to make my work as aesthetically pleasing as I possibly can. My process is like an alternate universe. The concept of time is warped as I spend what feels like the blink of an eye, but is actually hours upon hours immersed in the details and watching the lines work together to create a final piece. Check out more of his art on Instagram. It's at Cody Roos Art. There you go. And uh, they said they're so thankful that a talent like Cody is shared with us. So if you'd like your art featured, send an example of your work to info at getsketchbox.com. Now, as an artist, I do have a caveat. Sketchbox doesn't pay their artist for using their artwork, but that's their choice, and the artists who do decide to submit their work, that is a choice they're making too. So, what's in the box? Um, this is a basic box. Like I said, I paid for it out of my own pocket. The basic box is $25 a month, um, plus $5 shipping, I want to say. You should check my annotations, because I always mess this up, and I uh, apologize. I try to correct that, and I do sometimes get art snacks and sketch box the names confused when I'm talking so this month we're featuring line art products that allow you to have some serious precision in your work line art rose to prominence during the print era where it was the standard illustration technique inside this month's box you'll find 21 21 21 items to use in your own line art piece or add finer details to any of your other work there's a full 20 piece set that's cool though, I like full sets. Okay, so technically, technically we're getting two distinct products. We're getting a 21 piece Stabilo set. These are fine liners, they come in some really cool colors. Uh, some of my favorite artists use these for colored line art, so that's cool. And we also get a Copic Wide. I'm down with that as long as the price is right. And I'm not sure it's gonna be. So, for us basic kids, uh, we get a full 20-piece set of Stabilo uh, .88 fineliners. These are .4 millimeter pens that feature water-based ink and vibrant colors formulated to sustain a long ca cap-off time. Um, the long-wearing tip is encased in metal to extend the pen's life and make it suitable for use with rulers and stencils. It features a unique hexagonal shape and ventilated cap. We've also included a Copic Wide Marker. Copic markers are one of our most requested items. I can believe that. A true favorite by artists around the globe. The Copic Wide Marker is three times wider than the original Copic Marker and allows you the freedom to use either the wide edge or the fine tip of the nib. These markers feature an alcohol-based ink and are refillable. This is true. Have fun and remember to tag your art with hashtag Sketchbox March if you'd like to be included in our monthly contest. The winner gets their art featured on a future box lid. And uh, if you got this as a gift, they want you to use the coupon code COMEBACK, C-O-M-E, back, uh, to save 10% on your order. So, and we also get a bunch of 
stuff my cat's gonna eat and then throw it up all over my carpet, even if I'm careful about it. So, oh, I'm sorry about that noise. Let's take a look at the Art Snacks. Now, Art Snacks is $20 a month, flat rate. You're not paying for shipping. Ooh, okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've got a very curled render sample. Now, um, Art Snacks, you guys said no samples. This is the second month we've gotten a sample. Are you including this sample with the total cost of the materials? If it's on top of that, I'm cool with it. But if it's included in the cost of the materials, for the second month in a row, I have a problem with that. So I actually have a full-size render sketchbook, and I did my February test on my February Art Snacks Challenge on it. Let's see if I can grab it. Ta-da! And it, for the most part, doesn't show through. Ba -ba -ba -ba! So I'll probably be grabbing that sketchbook rather than um, using this curled tiny thing. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, we got a KUM pencil sharpener in a box. How fancy. And uh, I'm not per, ooh, that's cute. Oh, and it's got spare blades. That's cool. Um, I really like this brand, KUM. Um, I don't personally really use long points. I actually prefer shorter points because for colored pencils it tends to snap less, but I think sketch artists might prefer longer points. So that's cool. I like this. I've also got the description card and the, oh hey Art Snacks, it's your birthday! Me too! You're turning three and I'm turning 30. So they are sending me a birthday gift. Oh how nice! Uh, a special one inch. Oh it's from uh to celebrate their birthday not mine i didn't no i didn't think they were celebrating mine um it's a one inch enamel art snacks logo pin that's cute oh look how cute that is oh and i like the art snacks logo because as an artist it's not like so logo rific that it looks like um i'm wearing their branding it's it's like subtle enough that i would actually put this on my bag and I don't like wearing other people's logos. Like, I don't want to do your marketing for you. And they gave me a piece of gross scum. I hate this. That went in the garbage. But that's not their fault. I just don't like that kind of gum. And let's see what's in my pouch. Because I'd rather do that. And then read the card to y'all. Ooh, all right. We got goodies. All right, <laughs> we got an Irojitan in Kingfisher. This is the second Irojitan Kingfisher sna uh, Art Snacks has sent me. Um, I had an Art Snacks subscription uh, like a year and a half ago in 2014, and you guys can check those out on my blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, uh, under the reviews section, and they sent me this color and this pencil. So I have two of these, so that's kind of useless. I also got, oh, sweet, a Liqu Liquitex paint marker. I have a few of these, not very many, and I don't have this color, and this color is awesome. They also send me an Unipasca Fine, which is cool. No, Ultra Fine, I want to say. What are you? Oh, that's sweet. It's the um, it's the fine liner tip, which I don't have. I have the Bullet Nib Fine Liners. You guys have seen that. You guys have seen the tutorial. I also got a Progresso Coronor Sky Blue. Tip's a little broken, but I can sharpen it with that. Okay, so let's read this. Um, so they say that the KUM automatic long point sharpener is 1065 retail. We'll find that out together, and it's a staff favorite. And they say, how many miles of pencil have you ground away over the years trying to create a sharp point? All the way from Germany, the KUM automatic long point sharpener, pronounced KUM. Okay, I'm still gonna do KUM, <laughs> KUM though. I'll be incorrect. Um, the KUM automatic long point sharpener is here to fix that problem. Use the sharpener to trim away the wood as needed, then, okay, where's the sharpener? I guess they mean the main point of the sharpener. And then use the second, use the first sharpener, okay. Oh, they have steps. Okay, all right, I got it. Um, burr, 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 burr. Use the first sharpener to trim away the wood as needed, then use the second to hone the graphite to a fine point. Make your pencils last longer while still creating the sharp points that you need for detail work. 
uh, Tombow Urujitan color pencil. So last month Sketchbox, which was actually my winner last month, Sketchbox sent me a set of five and then like three open stock Irojitans. Um, the Tombow Irojitan color pencil features a firm point that gives you exceptional control. These professional grade color pencils are also great for layering. Irojitan is a Japanese expression that means color dictionary. Full sets of these pencils are available from Tombow in elegant volumes. And that's true. And I showed you guys my elegant volumes that I bought from Jerry's Artorama on sale. I'm just kind of bummed out because not only did I get, not only did Sketchbox send me a bunch of um, these last month, and you'd think these two companies and Scrawlerbox, you'd think all three of these art subscription companies would keep up with what the other's doing and try not to have overlap. I guess they don't, or maybe they had theirs planned in advance. I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. If you know the ins and outs and you want to tell me, I would super appreciate that because I would hate to spread misinformation knowingly. I don't know. Um, and it's kind of difficult sometimes to find this kind of information if you don't know anybody. Koenor Woodless Colored Pencil. That's the sky blue here. Pick up your new Koenor Woodless Colored Pencil and feel the weight in your hand. You're holding a stick of pure color. Try experimenting with this one, coloring from the point or laying the edge against the page for a softer, wider application. And they say this is a dollar four. Posca Paint Marker, 450 retail. All right, I seriously doubt that because, I mean, if you're not like carefully sourcing your markers, because I got a whole set of Posca, like a 15 set from Amazon for like 30, under 30 bucks, like a few months ago. And that was a set of 15. So I, I don't know. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out together. Give the Posca paint marker a shake, press gently against the paper to start paint flow, and start laying down water-based paint with precision. We love the bold colors in this line and the level of control the extra fine point provides. This marker can color over other paints once they are dry. Uh, Liquitex Professional Paint Marker, $6.99 retail. That might be right. It's time for an alternative kind of painting experience. The Liquitex Professional Paint Marker has a brilliant water-based color that dries permanently. This chubby marker is great for covering large-scale artwork, outlining murals, and other mixed media purposes. And then, okay, all right, okay. So Art Snacks sent this as a bonus item. We cool, we cool Art Snacks, we good. At least at this point. We'll see. They're not counting this as a full size supply. So we're good. And I'm sorry my camera is shaking. I am holding it up with my hand right now. So they don't even include a price. Yes, good boys and girls. Uh, don't hold back with the paint marker while trying out your render paper. It's specially designed to handle wet media without bleeding through. But it's also the perfect surface for your dry media. It loves your color pencils as much as your markers. Now you can draw and paint on both sides of the page. It's like doubling the life of your sketchbook. And they also suggest we take the Art Snacks Challenge. Use all of the products in your box to create an original piece of art. Snap a picture of your artwork and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram with the hashtag Art Snacks Challenge. And they also offer a link to order more. So I don't have an Art Snacks sticker. I do have a Sketchbox sticker. I have been putting the winning boxes on my monitor and at the end of the year, the stickers from those, and at the end of the year, I'm gonna take a photo and we'll see who won the year. Um, I might be able to dig up an old Art Snacks sticker. Um, if it, if, if it wins. Right now we're one for one, Sketchbox won one, Art Snacks won one. So as of right now, I am decently satisfied with both boxes. I am going to price them out and fix my clamp and I'll get back to you guys and we'll do some demonstrations.